We came to Guatemala to help build some power lines into a village that's never had power before. Uh, the 13 other guys and myself are in Guatemala and we're building the line to a village. I think it's three and a half miles. Uh, we wired 30 homes, I believe. So, you know, we started from scratch. We, you know, roughed everything and pulled the wire and turned the electricity on for them. Uh, I expected it to be rugged. Um, and I didn't realize how unready I was because it was, it was wild. It was up and down and a lot of, a lot of physical labor. We had uh, string wire with the help of the villagers over big <laughs> canyons and through the jungle to get it to where we needed it to be. Long spans, 1,200 foot span was the longest. We had a 900 foot, I think 600 foot also. A lot of wires everywhere, you know, putting wire on poles that were sticks, basically. It was whatever it was we could do to make it work. Teamwork is great. Uh, it doesn't matter, you get a bunch of guys from different states going together and um, they just fall in and start doing their thing. Everybody kind of just went to work. Nobody had to explain everything. For 14 guys from all different co-ops to work together as smoothly and everything, it was pretty amazing, to be honest. Was it hard work? Yeah, but the the villagers were there at every step of the way to take whatever bags, whatever tools you had, carry them to the next spot. They pulled, you know, they pulled all the wire out straight down the mountainside and straight back up the next side. They carried our gear bags out for us because it was too muddy for us to carry them and get trucks in there. Um, right, without the locals, my gear bag probably would have stayed in the village. <laughs> Small kids to the oldest gentleman in the village, they were right there wanting to do whatever they could to make your life easier, even though we're there to make their life easier. Working in a house, we had two, two boys with us. One was nine, one was 12. And I had, I had asked, what, what is one thing that you're really looking forward to with getting electricity? And they, they both agreed that just having light so they didn't have to use candles anymore. And I had also asked another gentleman, he was 53 years old, lived in the village his whole life, and he can't wait to be able to get a fridge just so they can keep food. I can use a blender and the iron to iron the clothes and a washer to wash our clothes. I think we are going to live a life that is different now because it was difficult without electricity. If you have the time and the want to to come down a place like this, it's an absolute blessing and you would definitely not regret putting your time in. Step out of your comfort zone and do it. You'll see great things, you'll do great things, meet great people.